If you are just replacing the coolant expansion tank, you can use a turkey baster or a fluid pump to remove the coolant from the tank, red arrow. There may still be a little spillage when you remove the lower hose, so be prepared for it. If you are planning on draining and flushing the system while performing this work, please see the link at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. With the air box removed, you can see the three hoses and one sensor you will need to remove to replace the reservoir. The radiator to reservoir hose, purple arrow, the reservoir overflow hose, green arrow, the reservoir supply hose, yellow arrow, and the level sensor wiring connection, red arrow. Begin by pulling the overflow hose off the neck of the reservoir, red arrow. If you are replacing the reservoir, there is a very good chance the overflow hose is shot and you should plan on replacing it as well. The hose gets very old and brittle over the years. Use a flathead screwdriver and remove the hose and clamp for the radiator to reservoir overflow hose, red arrow. Squeeze in the tabs for the electrical connection and remove the connection from the level sensor, red arrow. Always check the condition of the electrical connection and clean it up with a little emery cloth if needed, red arrow. Use a flathead screwdriver and remove the clamp and hose from the bottom of the reservoir, red arrow. This hose supplies the coolant to the radiator. Use a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two 10 millimeter nuts that hold the reservoir to the fender wall, red arrows. The reservoir, red arrow, sits in a rubber grommet in the fender wall, yellow arrow. You will need to pull up sharply to get the rubber plug in the reservoir to let loose. Before installing the new reservoir, make sure to check and clean the fender wall of any spilled coolant or corrosion that may have started, red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Don't forget to top up or refill your coolant. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.